configuration. This one is drawing five and a half amps, but it doesn't seem to be putting out the heat for the amount of amps that it's drawing. I uh, don't know what to make of it. And since the last test, I came back down to the basement and uh, temperature when I got down here was seven or 69.3 again so the temperature actually in the last video did rise seven tenths of a degree and here the amperage is uh, just a smidge over five almost five and a half the line voltage is uh, 12 point four 12 point three and uh, temperature on the motor Which is good, but the temperature here, it just, it's not there. This has been running 10 minutes. And uh, the last configuration, I was getting 140 to 150 for high heat. And here we're getting 80, 89 for the highest, 91. It's just 92. It's just not there. The heat is not there. And the other side's even worse. That goes down to the 80s. So, when you run uh, copper like this against both sides of the magnet, north and south, it won't heat up as good. And it still draws the power down. Um, don't know what to say. Let me bend uh, one side of it out and see the heat any better. Okay, here's the addition or the pressure I made. Just pull that out. The motor is running like 85, 84. But this, this is still surprising. 80 degrees right on the magnet. Just, uh, it's not getting the right temperature. It's actually lower than it was. Give or take just a couple of degrees, but even so. For the other concept, on the stick, uh, we had, well, 140, 150 on many spots. So this is not the right configuration with all the copper. That uh, it just doesn't get it. So another one shot. Here. Let's see. We uh, reconstructed the same one, put it in a different angle, all on one side. The other one was showing us that it just didn't get hot enough. So now our gap. It's larger at the top than it is at the bottom by just a little bit, but the heat is much better. 96. I'm seeing as high as 110 on here, depending on where the magnet is going by. And it actually feels warmer. I think the uh, strip is getting pushed out again, but uh, for the most part, we're above 90, uh, 96 maybe on uh, average. The Celsius I've got set up here in front of the wind, and that's telling me it's warmer. The amperage is up. The uh, motor temperature is about 87, 88. Get away from that glare of the light. It's hard to do at that angle. 
somewhere, you see. There we are. About 90 degrees south. And the amperage is reading... Uh, six and a touch more. Line voltage is down to 202. But the temperature is definitely up. And just a different configuration of the uh, copper strip. And if I could get the copper strip closer, I'm sure it would make a, a big difference. But uh, whatever's repelling this, whether it be a uh, lens law or, or whatever, Repels the copper and pushes it away. If I can get it to stay closer for a longer period of time, you hear the motor just die right down. And I can see from here the amperage goes up to 10 amps. Just that simple. And that's, that's all you gotta do is push it in just, just a little bit. So, work on it some more. Here we come up with.